Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. We got some excellent breaking New York Knicks news. OG Ananobi is back. Tomorrow night against the Philadelphia 76ers, we get our guy, OG, officially returns after getting shut down with right elbow inflammation. He got a procedure done, and per shams, he's back, baby. The New York Knicks, unfortunately, fell to the 76ers last night in a absolutely terrible game. I don't even want to talk about it. I want to forget about that game. The offense was abysmal. The Knicks put up, I think, 73 points. It was just an absolute abomination for both parties. But hey, the 76ers were the team to get the job done. Now, the Knicks are taking on the 76ers again at home at Madison Square Garden. But not only are the New York Knicks getting some reinforcements back, the Philadelphia 76ers are expected to have Tyrese Maxey back in action against the Knicks tomorrow night. So in this video, I want to break down why this is a really good sign, not only for this uh, this game against the Sixers, but for the rest of the season. Because I got to remind everybody, just how good these New York Knicks were when OG Adenobi was playing. The Knicks were 12-2 and with him, and we got a lot to break down in this video. But folks, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way into the show, and comment down below your excitement about OG Adenobi officially returning to the New York Knicks. The Knicks are finally getting healthier, man. It's a great, great sign, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we also have to give a huge shout-out to the proud sponsor of Knicks Media. That just so happens to be BetUS Sportsbook. If you guys want to receive a 125 percent sign up bonus on your first three deposits up to two thousand five hundred dollars you guys can click that link down below in the description to open up your bet us account today definitely take advantage of the promo that they're running if you want to put some bets on your new york knicks please bet responsibly let's hear a quick word from bet us Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. Where the game begins. Now let's get deeper into what we can expect from these New York Knicks with the return of OG on an OB. Now, the cool thing about it is we were coming off a game where the Knicks absolutely shut down the Orlando Magic and held them to just 74 points without OG, right? And that was probably the most impressive defensive game. Now, the sad thing is we held the Magic to the less, the least amount of points scored in the NBA all season long, and then the Knicks go out there and score 73 points. So it doesn't even feel like we did anything because the offense for the Knicks was so bad uh, last night against the 76ers. But this is just so good because, number one, I don't want to keep seeing Josh Hart playing 40 minutes a night. That's that's the first thing. This is a really good thing just to get the guys that are really important off the court more than they have to in Josh Hart. He's been absolutely the heart and soul of this team when the Knicks got injured because Jalen Brunson was banged up. Even Dante DiVincenzo got banged up at one point, if you remember, before the all all-star break, but Josh Hart has been healthy and been playing a lot of minutes. So now with the return of OG Ananobi, I really hope that Tom Thibodeau can give Josh Hart a little breather and allow him to get some stamina back. Not to say he's lacking any stamina, but boy, was Josh Hart doing everything for the New York Knicks. And now I also think the Knicks can really rely on the defense to have no mistakes. Now, the, the thing about this that we have to realize, I think the defense is going to have a significant, in, you know, improvement with the addition of OG Ananobi, but I really want Knicks fans to be a little more patient with OG Ananobi's offensive game because I can't expect him coming off an injury that he had, especially to his right elbow, to just come out there and start lighting it up, right? I can't expect OG to hit every single shot. I know that it was a right elbow injury, and he does look really good. I mean, his pregame warm-ups, you see him shooting the ball with no ailment in his right elbow, and the Knicks would not be clearing him if he had any uh, setback. So I think that he just needs to find his rhythm and before he got hurt, before he got shut down, let's not forget that OG was playing his best ball of his entire career. That game against Denver, he had like six steals, around 26 points. So not only was he impacting the New York Knicks overall offensively, but his de- uh, defensively, but his offense was starting to gain momentum, which is why the injury, the timing of it was just so devastating. And let's not forget, I alluded to it earlier in the video, the Knicks were 12-2. and two when the Knicks traded for OG. And now at this point, we're like, it's not even the OG trade. It's the Precious Achua trade. Why? Because Precious is healthy and playing his best ball. Well, OG's better remind the people it was the OG trade. As good as Precious Achua has been, which has been sensational, not taking anything away from Precious, but... OG Ananobi is going to remind the NBA world that the Knicks are a completely different team because what he brings is a top five wing defending type of talent 
That can lock up anybody on the perimeter. It's going to even elevate the guys around him on the defensive end, like Presh Sachua, Isaiah Hardenstein defending the paint. It's going to take a little bit more pressure off of Dante and Josh Hart in terms of their perimeter defense because that's what OG brings. He brings length, he brings size, high IQ. And then on the offense, not only is he just good at, you know, cash and shoot, but I feel like the spaciousness of the offense, we're going to see more room for Jalen Brunson to work with. He's going to be camping out in the corner. And another thing about OG that I really, really love, when he first came to the Knicks, this is how you know that he's just a very, you know, well into tune basketball player, understands the game very well, is I absolutely love that OG really knows how to move without the ball. His off-ball movement was really important because I feel like he would just cut back door, the Knicks would find him. Even when he has the ball in his hands, he would find people down low. I feel like his off-ball movement is something I'm really impressed with in OG Ananobi's game. And another part of his offense that I was impressed with was his mid-range game. I know he can shoot the ball from downtown. I know he's an athletic piece that can go down the court and dunk it on people. But I feel like his mid-range game is kind of that separation factor where if he can get that mid-range game and become a three-level level score, watch out because OG can absolutely take off and be a big reason why the New York Knicks go on a run. Now, I do expect the Knicks to get, you know, going into the West Coast trip after the game against the 76ers tomorrow. I hope they can go on a little run here because this is where we need this Knicks team to start playing their best basketball mid-March and then let's hope we can get Randall back and then Mitch back and then early April comes and then we head into the NBA playoffs. Hopefully, Hopefully, fingers crossed, fully, fully healthy, ready to go for the NBA playoffs, man. This is great news because when he first got shut down and we saw his right elbow get injured, we were all thinking the same thing. Oh my God, there goes the season. But here we are. The New York Knicks are still right in the thick of things when it comes to the Eastern Conference standings, even without OG Ananobi these last few weeks and without Julius Randle for that matter. So the Knicks are currently sitting as the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference and they have every single reason to be excited and optimistic of the return of OG Ananobi. Knicks fans, please do me a favor right now. Comment down below your excitement level for the return of OG. The Knicks are 37-27, to 27, the fourth seed in the East. We're a half game ahead of the Magic, a full game ahead of the Sixers, which is why tomorrow night's game is really, really important. The Knicks are 4-6 and six in their last 10 games, and this is the moment where we can really look back on of a potential turning point of the NBA season when OG returns to action. I'm pumped up to see him back tomorrow night in Madison Square Garden against the Philadelphia 76ers. Hopefully can really... That game's important, by the way, because if we beat the Sixers, then we have the season series against them, so we have the tiebreaker over them. But if we lose, then the series is tied, and then there's going to be other different um, tiebreakers that's involved. So this is a huge game tomorrow night to beat the Sixers at home. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Shout out to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys. Let's go Knicks. Peace.